Hello everybody, this is Mark with My Whistle and Flute and I am going to do just a brief tutorial because I have been asked to do so by uh, four or five customers and some viewers also on, on this YouTube channel in regards to the way that I play Wayfaring Stranger on a minor pentatonic flute. Now I posted a video some time ago of myself playing a low D minor pentatonic Kenna style flute, PVC flute. And I make those and I sell them and I've sent them all the way from the UK to Washington State um, and everywhere in between. I don't currently have one with me in order to make this tutorial. However, I do have two minor pentatonic flutes, actually one flute and one whistle. So I have this minor pentatonic uh, whistle and this is one of our black uh, PVC five hole minor pentatonic whistles and I also have our Kung Fu style flute which is quite long and it's a deep it's it's much deeper and it's played in uh, transverse style um, and you know anyway both of those, because they're minor pentatonics, can play the same, uh, the same song, Wayfaring Stranger. So people ask me about tab, uh, tablature. Now, I do not, I'm, I don't usually write tablature. Most of what I play, uh, I've been playing music and multiple instruments for many, many years, ever since I was a boy. Most of what I play, I play whether harmony or melody by ear. Uh, I just hear it intuitively. Some people like actual notation music. Some people like tablature, especially if you're getting new into it, tablature helps. So I'm going to be posting a link uh, to download from my Google Drive um, this tablature which I created for Wayfaring Stranger. It will not have any of the embellishments that I'm going to talk to you about here, but it has just the basic notes and it's two pages. Uh, the tablature is quite large and then up at the top I have the timing written out. So if you, and it may be backwards on your screen, I'm not sure, but if you just follow that timing, that will help you with the, um, with getting the timing of the, of the music right. And then, so this is written for a five hole pentatonic uh, flute. It should still work if you have a four hole minor pentatonic flute. Also, if you have a Native American style flute, um, that has six holes, it also uh, should work, although you may need to adjust it some, but any of our uh, four, five, or six hole minor pentatonic flutes or whistles should work. So let me start with the whistle. So when I play, the, when I play that uh, song, and you can get the tablature out if you want and follow along, um, but when I play Wayfaring Stranger, it starts off just like this, all holes covered. Whether, again, whether I'm playing the Kenneth style, whether I'm playing the transverse flute or the whistle, all holes covered, that's the first note. Okay, then it goes from all holes covered to um, the top two holes covered. So it's one, two, three, four. So here we go. Then the third hole back up to the second, back down to the third. Sorry, I'm looking at the screen and not paying attention. So, so um, three, two, three, four, five. Okay, so from the beginning again. Then it goes. Then this is the next step. So it's one, two, three, four, or so it, or the holes, sit, uh, five, five, two, three. Back down to five again. Then just up the flute, five, four, three. So. So far, you can tell th these top two holes, one and two, and you might have one where the uh, top hole is in the back. In this case, all five are on the front. I'll show you on the flute here in just a minute. Um, 
it's all, everything's being played with just the um, these three holes on the bottom. Okay, so starting from the beginning. Then it uh, then the phrase just repeats. Now that's different. Instead of it's five four, so five four two. Then to three. Five five four two three. So it's three, four, five, four, five. Okay, so again, five, four, three, uh, five, uh, four, two, three. Four, five, four, five. All right, let me just play through the verse. Now, now we're going to get into the second octave. And with these five-hole flutes, you normally have a couple of options. If it's a four-hole flute, you don't. If it's a four-hole pentatonic flute, uh, all closed will be the octave. But on a five-hole pentatonic flute, all open or all closed is the same thing. I'm probably going to go with all closed, but you may see me do all open. It's the same note. Sorry. It's the same note, all right? It has a different sound because there's a different place that the sound exits, but it's the same note. So th let, me, let me play through the, uh, the first part of the chorus. So starting with two. So it is two, two, one octave. Or it could be all open. All right, so it's the same note. Either all, all open or all closed. And if you have one of my five-hole uh, pentatonic uh, kennas, again, the same thing. Okay, so it, it's two, two, one octave. Then, I made a mistake there. Let's go back to the octave. Keep doing the same thing, I'm sorry. It's just on the two. So it's five. I'm going there. So all the octave is there. Then it's one octave. Octave. One, two, one. So back to the beginning of the chorus again. And then it kind of repeats again, except it ends going down instead of coming back up. So it's um, two, two, one octave. Then it's one octave. One. Two. Or what I did there. So I'm going there. One, two, three, two. So you can do it either way, depending upon how you like it. Then starting back at two again.
Again, so that's all in the tab, all right? Now, sorry about uh, one of those embellishments there. I play it that way so often, it just kind of, uh, I forget sometimes when I'm trying to do it. So that is just what you'll find on the tab, all right? And you can play it through just that way. Now, everybody likes the embellishments a little bit. You know, it's just that, it's that, it's the soul of the, of the song. It's the soul of the music. So, for example, instead of... You might have something like this. And I just kind of feel that, but there's a lot of what I call finger popping, all right? There's probably a technical name for it, but I don't know what it is. Finger popping, okay? It's just those little trill notes. So instead of just, instead of playing, um, instead of just playing the third hole, I play it, pop it up to second, and right back down. And then instead of going from uh, third to fourth, for example, I might pop quick up to second and then down to, th down, uh, to fourth like that. Can you see that in the video? Another technique that you can use to get that soulful sound is to slide your finger off. Slide your finger off. You hear it goes, it just says that, that gentle curve up. Then you can also slowly cover the note. Instead of it. So there's a lot of different embellishments that you can do. And the last note, whenever you have a last note on a phrase, you can just, again, pop that finger. Whether you have a flute or a whistle, again, there's probably a technical name for it, but if you just, using your diaphragm, blow out just a slight bit of air, you'll get that uh, jump quickly into the second octave. And some people like that, some people don't. Let me just play it for you again with just some of those embellishments. I'm using the basic notes. In fact, I'm using all the notes that are on this tab and just adding some of those embellishments and a couple of runs that are a little bit harder to teach, but maybe once you can see them and hear them, that will help you. So here we go. I hope that helps. Just real quick, I wanted to let you see how you can do the exact same thing with a transverse flute in the pentatonic, just like you can in the whistle.
All right, guys. Hey, oh, that's another 16-minute video. I hope that you, that you appreciate it. I hope, well, whether you appreciate it or not, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's taught you something, um, giving you some clues. It's really hot here in this hallway where I'm recording this right now. I got to get back into the air conditioning. Let me know your thoughts. Email me. Message me. Um, let me know your questions, how else I can help you. But thanks for those of you who have purchased one of my flutes and whistles, those of you who have been so supportive all this, all this way. And I hope this uh, little tutorial was an encouragement and a challenge to you and an inspiration. And get up there and make some music, guys. And I'll see you next time around the shop.